it is the weekend edition. We are going to go through tons of items here, so we're going to jump right into it. But if you're new here, go down to that bottom right hand corner, hit that options tenor logo and subscribe. Um, do all those things that YouTube likes. Uh, we have SPX on multiple time frames. We'll go down and check out uh, QQQ, IWM, DIA, and Bitcoin. I think you guys will be really intrigued with what uh, I'm looking at at Bitcoin. But uh, ultimately, I think this might be a little bit more of a trader's market rather than um, uh, this correction being over and we just start reaching all-time highs. That's why I named this Complex Correction Complete. Well, this is a wave four, so it's made to trick you to go up and down to take people's money <clears throat> and to fool you so okay getting in here spx on the monthly time frame the month is about to end so we want to make sure that we check this out we're looking at the wave five primary wave and uh um we're looking at intermediate one two three four five on this chart digging it a little bit deeper we have the top of the channel possibly it's from such a long time ago, so I don't know how accurate this is, but we did get a reaction off of it and uh, touched other highs, and we got a bearish engulfing. And we're looking at um, uh, the closing right. Um, I mean, we haven't closed yet. We have another day. We have Monday. But we're looking to close above this uh, 8 EMA so we can continue to trend to the upside, which is the 4438 area. Otherwise, we have a bearish engulfing. We continue to go down on this and close underneath the 8 EMA. Then we're talking about a whole new ball game. And uh, some of the things that I'm going to say in this video are going to be on the bearish end of it. So I'm going to give you a couple scenarios. And then, uh, so let's go down. We're, we're still in, well in bullish territory, but we did have the uh, divergence on the RSI that seems to be playing out at this point. <clears throat> now, where are we at here? Let's go down to the weekly time frame. All right, after that megaphone breakout, we're continuing to the upside. Broke down from this rising pivot and retesting it right now. We regained last week the um, 50 moving period. Uh, which is really, really a good thing because we started to really break through there. But we have a large wick closed above and uh, is possibly headed to the upside at this point. We did stop right at uh, resistance. Of course, they're going to try to fool you at the weekend to see how we begin <clears throat> the rest of uh, the month here and beginning a new week. <clears throat> Excuse me one second. I'll just uh, edit all this out of the. No, I won't. <clears throat> All right. Sorry about that. And on this wave count, it looks like we're looking for wave one, two, still working on wave three. And I'm not sure that this wave is actually done yet. That's what I want to propose. I know that uh, we've been looking at this being a wave three end here and then a expanding diagonal for a wave four and continue up to end this whole trend um, altogether. But I have a little bit more of a bullish count that we must check out um, with how things developed in this correction. All right. So we can't really see it on the weekly. We are breaking down to the downside. Uh, histograms expanding. We we reached a point on here that's at uh, about the 42, 44 area, which seems to be support in the past um, as well. So if we put our line here around that 43 area, it looks like we had support. Um, sometime back here in 12, around 13, uh, 2013 or so. So we, we, you know, we, we may look for a bounce at this point. Uh, we'll have to watch price action, see what we get out of it. We do have reversal candle and this is a, this reversal candle is playable if it is tradable. So, um, we would put our stop underneath this, uh, tail, any tick below it. And, uh, that would be negated. That's where your stop would be. So um, let's keep an eye on this. All right, going down to the daily trend is our friend. <clears throat> okay, so I have a new pivot here that uh, has all kinds of reactions on there. And it, it kind of lines up uh, with this uh, the bottom of this um, uh, wick here for the week. Now, the, the numbers just happen to work out so well. Now, if I put um, these Fibonacci retracements here for the 382 and the Fibonacci extension for the one two they don't match up uh, when it comes to using the these pivots here now 
we decided to use the uh, the green um, minor wave one and two. So um, using these, this one, two here in the green, um, we did this uh, fib retracement for the bottom of two to the top of three, and we got this perfect, perfect touch on this uh, on this reaction down this correction that we started off. And I thought that was wow. It fit much better than than bring it down just a little bit more, a hair more, and said, "Wow, you know, um, on the bottom of this too, we kind of just missed it. You know, that's possible. But if we brought it up just to that too, <clears throat> it worked out perfect. Okay, and not only that, but then when we had this Fibonacci extension, we took it off of this one too and added onto this one too. So we have the the bottom of wave one here, the start of wave one, up here to top of wave one and down to the wave two and that gave us this uh 40 4618 extension to the t if i dive in there it i mean just so close right here uh so we came up here reacted corrected right into the 382 i'm thinking that this is just a minor um degree wave count and that we're gonna start into a minor uh five pretty soon and what i want to talk about that's really important in this video is not the fact that we're going to go higher into the wave five uh for this minor to end that and then um and then continue on to correct in the intermediate term but let's go home and check this out we had uh we thought that we ended the wave count up here and had a a b expanded and expanded c but we did not get our five wave count down and that, that's a telltale for that um, the fact that uh, that this couldn't be a flat. Okay, we had a you need a five wave move down. And I can't get one in there. So it appears that with the three wave move down, if this truly is a reversal and we're not getting an, another low, if we get another low, then uh, we have to move back to what we were talking about. And now this move was so. <clears throat> um, I, I guess so large that it, it just fits very well that this is a ABC down for wave four in the minor degree. And then we're going to look for something on the terms of a triangle or flat. That's what we'll look for. Um, we have to keep our mind open that it could be a complex correction as well and go much lower. Um, but in the meantime, a little bit more uh, probability that we get our three wave move down and then we'll get a three wave move up. We don't know how far that will go up if we start going to the 618 or the uh, 786 area. That'll probably be a triangle. But if we get a little bit higher, then we're talking about a flat. Um, uh, now that I showed you guys these, I'll take these extensions off, make this page a little cleaner. Um, so we're, we'll look for a three wave move down three up for possibly a flat five wave move down for the end of the flat or and there's many different types of flat i'm not gonna we we went through a lot of these flats already in uh on, on my videos um we i do have a video for patrons as well that uh explains flats and triangles but uh <clears throat> so either we're looking for a flat pattern three three five or we're looking for a possible triangle, which would give us a three, three lower, the uh, smaller, excuse me, A, smaller B, three wave move up, smaller three wave move down for C. You can end there or continue on with the three wave move for D, E, three wave moves all the way across and then start moving up. So we'd be correcting in time, in other words, we corrected in um, back here. We had zigzags, zigzags. And so we had these sharp corrections that uh, that were more price. This, um, even though it's a large move, we're looking at correcting in time. So more of a trader's market, very tradable moves. We should have a nice large pop to the upside, uh, reversal quickly to the downside and they're not just going to be straight up and down but uh you know get your three wave moves up three wave move down three up three down and then uh, we'll continue on to the upside uh to end that uh, minor wave five and then we'll be looking for um some more uh wave four action so we're getting into a little bit more of a trader's market this is no longer that uh that fancy wave three where everything's just going up 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 and uh and 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 uh you know everybody's right all the time unless you're a bear <laughs> um 
<clears throat> okay, and that's that's pretty much that's the main thing about this video here that we want to be in um, a primary wave five, intermediate wave four, minor degree B, uh, minute wave A. Okay, so looking into this, uh, we did have a bullish candle to end off on Friday. We saw that coming. We we mentioned that in the Discord, and we have a free Discord that um, it's not mine, it's Perian's, but um, uh, it's it's free. The option guys, check us out in there. It's um it's really a, a nice place to uh, talk about all these trades and continue, especially in the morning uh, while the market is going on we uh have great camaraderie and some trade ideas and things like that and we post uh, a lot of charts and uh consider checking that out okay um let's see do we want to go to 65 i don't even know if i updated that yet 65 minute chart yeah yeah i did so we have our a b c down and we're looking for in the turquoise a b c to the upside so we'll, we'll see where we end up this 1618 would be a nice target here to to get to this gap and just a little bit higher would be um you know any possibility for a triangle and, and it, you know just to get all the bull sucked in for the uh, uh a flat we'll um we'll check that out just remember this is a three wave move and that should uh indicate anything else a five wave impulsive move up that means that uh, our our correction is over and we're we're probably into a wave one and to continue on um there there's a more bearish play here um maybe i should go through that real quick on the daily let's let's just wind back just a little bit um so that's that's kind of a bullish sideways consolidation move but if we if we are in a bearish situation then we're probably going to lose this low here uh pretty soon so we'll have an, um a 1 2 3 4 5 and then uh we'll start to head to the upside and 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 maybe um come up to certain levels and and fail from there uh and then get a much larger impulsive wave down so um this this right now doesn't look like that kind of formation with this three wave move so um I'm, that's no longer uh a high probability type um situation i i think um my favorite for this one and we'll have to watch price it's all about price you know um it, it, no matter what we see it looks uh you, you know we just have to stick around with what price gives you okay um qqq <clears throat> QQQ on the daily. All right, so we have this pivot that I drew here that had lots of touches throughout the time, and we came right back to it. Now, um, we had a, an interesting retracement from the 50% uh, down from this wave two. So this still could be um, a possible wave four it's still valid and it come right down to this uh 1618 um abc uh down here so just some confluence with the the pivot the uh 1618 from this um if you don't know what i'm talking about we had an extension from this move here that for this abc to kind of get you sucked in that's a 1618 that would be um uh, most people would probably think and that's this is what we were looking for was a one two and uh typical for a 1618 to hit that wave three and then you get a four and five down so that's still you know a possibility but we hit this pivot a lot of confluence here and we're starting to move up pretty impulsively and so we got to regain this eight ema just to be constructive i mean we're really in a bearish stance here but um from the uh, bullish engulfing we had it appears on the lower time frames that we started to break out uh, on a lot of these names, a lot of the big tech names out of uh, a, a small triangle wave four. Instead of breaking down for a wave five, we actually started to break up. So we'll we'll have to continue to um, watch this move up. But this will be the same thing. We had a A, B, C correction, and we're going to look for some sort of A, B, C, D, E triangle or perhaps an A, B uh, five way move down C flat and then headed up. This is not going to be a straight up situation. Don't think we're just going to all time highs right away. IWM a little bit quickly on this one. Uh, we had a massive correction here, right down into 382, uh, popped a, a little bit lower there, had a 100% retracement um, when we're going from this X to Y. So we had a W, X, Y correction going from X down here to this midpoint, uh, a uh, 
flat pattern and we had a um 100 percent retrace retracement from that top to middle up down 100 <laughs> percent move uh from that point to that point so it's just a lot of confluence again here and uh it looks like a perfect way for i don't know if that's um actually primary you got a lot of things going on here uh, but uh, it should follow everything else. We want to um, definitely watch price action. I just I do think we're going higher from here, but I do think this complex correction is actually over. We'll have to check this out. Um, if this is actually a three um, intermediate and then we actually got the three here um, for a sorry for the minor wave. If we end it there and then this is a intermediate wave, then we're getting a sharp correction here. Um, for a, a WXY and then possibly if this is a wave four, we move sideways as well. So it, no matter where you put the actual wave count, it I do believe that this is from um, the intermediate degree here that uh, we get this 382. So that seems more of a possibility that IWM is leading the way in both directions and is actually on a, a larger um, a larger time frame, uh, um, a, a larger degree wave so um we'll continue to monitor this it should lead us to the upside and then get there first at, before uh, starting to correct um and lead the market to the back to the downside in the future so um yeah anyway um not super important right now we just think we're, we're going to start uh, moving sideways for a while <clears throat> iwm moved sideways for quite some time uh, but it might do it again Okay, so on the Dow, putting up the trend as our friend period. Now we thought this could have been an expanded flat, uh, expanded diagonal to end this move here, but it looks more clear that we had this uh, uh, ending diagonal of one, two, three, four, five, um, ended there for our um, our third intermediate degree wave, um, and then same thing coming down for four, and then we're gonna look for some sideways action before moving up just a little bit more. Okay, now getting to the VIX. The VIX, the most important thing is not on the chart here. We tried to break up above this um, this downtrend line and uh, broke down uh, back in underneath it. So the important thing is to look at um, what's happening in with the VIX futures. We had some volume trading in Oh, it's not coming up right now. So uh, we're actually inverted. We're, we're back to, I, I guess, I suppose you'd say normal in this situation to where the 17 day, it's uh, it's working at a $27.10 um, price. And out in the future is lower. We haven't seen that in a while. So we're down here 80 days out. We're at a $26.85 um, price action where in in the past we actually, uh, we were in Contango and um, I didn't change that. We're actually inverted now to where um, the, 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 I guess the hysteria, the fear is in the present. Um, that's what that's saying. And out in the future that we're looking at, um, bluer skies. So that's just, uh, you know, just a tea leaf to look at. I, I continue to monitor that just for, you know, each week. I don't look at it every day to see what's happening with that, um, with the, uh, VIX futures spy. All right, spy, same thing. Came down to 382. Everything looking good. We're getting a reversal, starting to push up, but just ended right at the 200 day and the 8 EMA. The, but the, um, you know, looking at the volume, we had nice size volume going into this reversal candle, which gave us a hint of what is happening. Um, started to chop sideways, and it seems that we're breaking out of a, a triangle here. And we'll just have to see if we start gapping above uh, this pivot and uh, these moving averages, then we're looking a lot more bullish because we haven't had our cross yet on the uh, MACD. So a lot of things could happen. We could still move to the downside and go test the uh, pivots down low um, and, you know, got get all the bulls sucked in on Friday and then reverse it on us and gap down. That would be um, a, a sign that um, we have to go back to what we were looking at in the past with the um with the expanded flat and or the wave one bearish move down before we continue um uh on a bear trend 
last thing I want to show you is BTC. We're going to go over to the Bitcoin futures. Now, Bitcoin, I'm not going to, I'm going to take that pivot out here. Bitcoin has been um, moving basically sideways for a while. And we had this one, two, and impulsive wave three. And it, this is in, um, this is in a, uh, what you call it? <clears throat> I'm losing my mind here. Anyway, sorry, I, I didn't realize what I was saying. So after moving to that wave three, we start moving sideways and we have this A, possible B for a flat, running flat, and it's expa um, expanded above all time highs and getting down to C, right into confluence with this um, this gap here. Um, we uh, came down, we didn't make new lows, but we're starting to actually move to the upside. And the interesting thing apart about this was uh, measuring. So we took this measurement from the top of wave three down to a three-way move down, possibly A, and to the top of B. And we got perfectly 100% move. So they, they match to be 100%. Um, it doesn't mean that the this can't go further down for an expanded flat, but this running flat would appear to be the way to go right now. And, and um, you know, it's, it's all about trading and trading style. So we want to trade this now we're going to trade this um monday for this setup and we're going to we're going to add this to our official trades on our ira with our patrons so if if you want to join um our second tier patreon it's only ten dollars a month you can follow my ira personally and get direct uh, alerts for that uh with charts and uh levels so check that out it's only ten dollars but moving down to this wave c now it looks like we're actually making a one two on a uh on a minute level but this would be a, a very um a very bullish setup for a running flat and then we start moving into our wave five so what i like about this and some other plays that we're going to be talking about um also for the patrons we uh we have this flat already so we're done with this flat and we're ready to move for wave five okay the the indices are not um you know there is another count that that we could look at for here that would move sideways further that would be a triangle that um basically like a bullish triangle uh that we have an a b c d e and we're kind of getting higher as we go and then we start breaking to the upside but this one has a lot more likely situations where we're already starting to the wave five and we're looking for a five wave impulsive move to the upside and so that would um bitcoin would be something that we're a little bit more interested in rather than the indices which we're gonna um with the qqq and the in the spy we're gonna play those as well but we're gonna be a lot shorter term trades on those uh rather than uh, we're going to be in and out, you know, on swings on those. But this one, we're actually going to add some um, add uh, big positions in our IRA uh, to move up. And then again, this is tradable. We have this nice reversal candle here. You just put your stop right underneath this candle, because once you get under this candle, then it's invalidated. It, period. There's there's something else going on. You get out and then you reevaluate reevaluate what's happening. Um, so we will be play, trading this on Monday. Um I wasn't going to add this in here, but I just want to show you another example. We want to get something like Roku. We had this uh, possible um, wave two. Uh, so we had this large wave. We had this one, two, and we're looking at uh, another one, two. So we had a move um, coming up here. We had a five wave move up and we corrected right back down into the let's see where we get this correction here. Right in the seven, eight, six, I believe. Right, the six, seven eight six territory, and just like um, uh, over on the QQQ, we actually had a move from the top here down to the bottom of A, possibly B, and we got that one six one eight extension from the top of wave B. So you know this thing could uh, honestly move sideways as well in a very large triangle, but uh, coming down that low to the seven eight six, it looks like that we have a a wave two. And so if we're going to start moving sideways, we're going to get the same thing, but we're going to get a much larger range for this expanding flat. This could actually just work its way into a much larger triangle um, or a, a, a flat in itself to where this ended off right up here. I, I do believe that this is a five wave move down. So I think this correction is complete 
Um, so that's why we're so bullish on Roku with this five wave move down. Then we're going to start seeing all time highs at, at this point. So we want to pay attention to those things that aren't going to move so much sideways like the indices and actually uh, start making higher highs. So we want to start putting um, uh, adding on to these into our IRA and things like that. So that's the last thing I want to show you guys. Uh, we're going to start. Um, we've been accumulating this one for some time. We've been wrong for you know, a couple of weeks on this, um, but that's okay. We're accumulating for a big move. All right. So thanks for joining us here on the weekend edition of Options Center. Have a good day.